The Jomong culture began about 15,000 years ago. At that time, global warming was also quickly beginning. As a result of global warming, sea levels rose around the world. The Tsushima current began flowing from the south into a brackish lake, transforming it into the Sea of Japan, connected to the Pacific Ocean. Thanks to this warm current, a bountiful broadleaf forest began to grow in the Japanese archipelago. The humans at that time were able to gather and use the natural resources, like nuts and wild vegetables there. A large forest of beech trees grew in Hokkaido and northern Tohoku. Scientists assume the Shirakami Sanchi Beach Forest, a UNESCO World Natural Heritage Site, first appeared during this time. Around this time, a human group who produced the first pottery inhabited the northern end of Honshu, the main Japanese island. This area is now known as the Odai Yamamoto site, located in Sotogahama town of Aomori Prefecture. Archaeologists found charcoal residue from cooking stuck to this pottery. Dating analysis revealed that the charcoal dates back to around 15,000 years ago. Humans developed a wholly new way of cooking with pottery. It allowed them to use more natural resources and consume a stable diet, enabling them to establish a sedentary life way. Humans began fishing, gathering shellfish, and constructing numerous villages near oceans, rivers, and lakes. Archaeologists found a large settlement with a graveyard in the Kakinoshima site of Hakodate City. As global warming continued, the ocean moved further inland, bringing with it an abundance of fish and shellfish. We can find proof of this in such places as the Kita Kogane Shellbinden of Date City, located along the Funka Bay, and the Irie Takasago Shellbindens in Toyoko Town, both in Hokkaido, as well as Tagoyano Shellbinden in Tsugaru City, and Futatsumori Shellbinden in Shichinohe Town on Honshu. Over the course of time, large-scale settlement sites considered to have been permanent residential bases began to form. These can be found in the Ofune site in Hakodate City, located along the Pacific Sea, and the Goshono site in Ichinohe Town, located along the Mabechi River. Among them, the Sanai Maruyama site in Aomori City was an outstanding settlement site continuously inhabited for 1,500 years. The people used chestnut trees with a one-meter diameter as pillars to support an enormous six-pillared structure here. In the later phase of the Jomon period, the sedentary lifeway eventually led to the large-scale construction of monuments. These are represented by the Oyu Stone Circle in Kazuno City, the Ise Dotai site in Kita Akita City, the Komakino site in Aomori City and the Omori Katsuyama site in Hirosaki City, as well as the Kiyusu Earthwork Burial Circles in Chitose City. Lacquer techniques were also developed during the Jomon period. Exquisite lacquer craftworks have been discovered in the Kamegaoka prehistoric site in Tsugaru City and the Korekawa prehistoric site in Hachinohe City. The Jomon archaeological sites in Hokkaido and northern Tohoku tell us the comprehensive story of the 10,000-year history of the Jomon culture. Approximately one quarter of the sites associated with the Jomon period are found in this area historically valuable sites that have been designated as special historic sites and historic sites are concentrated in this area. Even though the Honshu and Hokkaido areas were divided by the Tsugaru Strait, the people here used pottery with common forms and designs. 
a common cultural sphere was formed here, despite geography. Clay figurines known as dogu and ritual goods demonstrating a rich spirituality are often found in this area. Surprisingly, the forms and designs of the pottery and dogu made here can be seen in areas as far away as Hokuriku and Kyushu areas. It seems as though the Hokkaido and northern Tohoku area was a heart of Jomon culture. The Jomon archaeological sites in Hokkaido and northern Tohoku have been properly preserved. Volunteer guides and conservation works are active in the sites, and collaboration with the local communities has increased. The Jomon period continued over 10,000 years. During this time, the people confronted climate change, volcanic eruptions, and numerous earthquakes. In spite of these environmental changes and natural disasters, the Jomon culture persevered by making the best use of the region's natural gifts. We hope the Jomon archaeological sites in Hokkaido and northern Tohoku will be inscribed on the UNESCO World Heritage List for telling us the long human history of the Jomon culture.